African wild dogs face constant threats in their environment, and their survival depends on collective defense. When predators approach their den, the pack's response reveals sophisticated threat assessment. They evaluate size, aggression level, and intent before committing to action. The pack's defensive strategy relies on numerical advantage and coordinated movement. Unlike solitary predators that depend on ambush, wild dogs use encirclement tactics, positioning themselves to cut off escape routes while maintaining safe distances. This approach minimizes individual risk while maximizing group effectiveness. Their physical adaptations support this strategy. Large rounded ears serve dual purposes, thermoregulation in Africa's heat and acute hearing to detect approaching danger. Their mottled coats, unique to each individual, help pack members identify one another instantly during chaotic encounters. Communication during threats is rapid and layered. High-pitched twitters signal alarm and rally the pack. Body positioning conveys intent. Lowered heads indicate readiness to engage, while raised tails signal confidence. This silent coordination allows them to adjust tactics without breaking formation. The decision to pursue or retreat isn't based on bravado, but on calculated risk assessment. If the threat moves away from the den and pups, the pack often chooses to drive it beyond their territory rather than escalate to a fight. Energy conservation is paramount. Every calorie spent on defense is one less available for hunting. Protecting their young is the pack's primary objective. Dens are carefully selected in borrowed burrows, often from aardvarks or warthogs, providing multiple escape routes. When danger is imminent, adults position themselves between the threat and the den entrance, creating a living barrier. This defensive behavior isn't instinct alone. It's learned through experience and observation. Younger pack members watch how veterans assess threats, when to engage, and when to hold position. This knowledge transfer ensures each generation improves upon the tactics of the last. African wild dogs live in one of nature's most cooperative societies. Unlike many carnivores where dominance is maintained through aggression, wild dog packs function through a system of shared responsibility and mutual support. Pack composition typically centers on a dominant breeding pair, but leadership is more nuanced than simple hierarchy. The alpha female and male make major decisions, when to move dens, where to hunt, but input from other pack members influences these choices. Scientists have documented democratic behaviors, including the famous sneezing votes, where collective sneezes can determine whether the pack moves or stays. Genetic studies reveal interesting dispersal patterns. Males typically remain in their natal pack, while females leave to join other groups. This prevents inbreeding while maintaining stable male coalitions that form the pack's core. Brothers that grow up together develop exceptional coordination, which translates directly into hunting success. Their coat patterns serve as individual identification markers no two wild dogs share the same configuration of spots and patches, functioning like fingerprints. This allows researchers to track individuals across years and helps pack members recognize each other instantly, even in tall grass or at distance. Reproduction follows a fascinating pattern. While typically only the dominant pair breeds, the entire pack invests in raising the pups. Litters average 10 pups, 
among the largest of any canid, which creates enormous nutritional demands. A single breeding female can require three times her normal food intake while nursing. The babysitting system demonstrates their cooperative ethic. When hunters leave, at least one adult stays behind to guard the pups. This guard receives no direct benefit, no food, no mating opportunities, yet the role is fulfilled consistently. This behavior puzzled early researchers until they recognized that wild dogs prioritize pack survival over individual gain. Feeding hierarchy defies typical predator patterns. Rather than dominant animals eating first, wild dogs allow pups priority access to kills. Hunters will regurgitate meat specifically for young, nursing females and even injured or elderly pack members. This feed the future first strategy ensures genetic continuity. Communication extends beyond vocalizations. Wild dogs employ complex body language, play bows to diffuse tension, lowered postures to show submission, raised hackles to display confidence. They also use scent marking strategically, though less than other canids, relying more on vocal and visual signals. Den relocation occurs regularly, typically every few weeks. This behavior serves multiple purposes, avoiding parasite buildup, reducing scent accumulation that attracts larger predators, and responding to disturbances. The entire pack participates, with adults carrying small pups while guiding older ones. African wild dogs are among the most successful hunters in Africa, with kill rates approaching 80%, far exceeding lions or leopards. This success stems not from power, but from a refined hunting strategy built on endurance and teamwork. Their hunting method is pursuit predation taken to its extreme. Unlike ambush predators that rely on surprise, wild dogs engage in extended chases sometimes lasting several kilometers. Their physiology is optimized for this. Lean bodies, long legs, and large hearts relative to body size provide exceptional cardiovascular endurance. The hunt begins with scouting. Pack members spread into a loose line, covering more ground while maintaining visual contact. They use a distinctive rallying ceremony before hunts gathering close, vocalizing, and touching, behaviors that appear to synchronize the group and strengthen social bonds. Target selection is strategic. While they're capable of taking prey much larger than themselves, wild dogs often focus on medium-sized antelope, impala, springbok, and gazelles. They assess herds for vulnerable individuals, the young, injured, or isolated, maximizing success probability while minimizing energy expenditure. Once prey is selected, the chase reveals their coordination. Unlike cheetahs that rely on explosive speed, wild dogs maintain a sustainable pace of 35-40 mil pH, wearing down prey through relentless pressure. Different pack members take turns leading the chase, effectively creating a relay system that prevents any single dog from exhausting. Their hunting communication is continuous. High-pitched calls keep the pack coordinated, 
allowing members to adjust positions without visual contact. Some dogs drive prey while others position themselves to intercept, creating a dynamic trap that adapts to prey movements. The kill itself is efficient and relatively quick. Wild dogs don't have the powerful jaws of lions or the suffocating bite of leopards. Instead, they use their numbers, with multiple dogs attacking simultaneously to bring down prey rapidly. This method, while appearing chaotic, minimizes the prey's suffering. Feeding happens at remarkable speed. In the wild, a kill attracts competitors. Hyenas, lions and vultures all monitor wild dog hunts. The pack must consume as much as possible before larger predators arrive. They can consume up to nine kilograms of meat in a sitting, nearly a third of their body weight. The regurgitation behavior serves critical survival functions. Hunters returning to the den carry food internally, protected from scavengers. Upon arrival, they regurgitate semi-digested meat for those who stayed behind. This biological food transport system ensures equitable distribution across the entire pack. Range and territory are fluid. Wild dogs cover enormous areas. Home ranges can exceed 400 square kilometers. They're nomadic rather than territorial, moving through landscapes following prey migrations and avoiding areas dominated by lions, their primary cause of mortality. Their impact on ecosystems extends beyond predation. By controlling herbivore populations and removing weak individuals, wild dogs contribute to prey species' overall health. Their presence influences behavior of other predators and shapes vegetation patterns through prey distribution. Conservation presents unique challenges. Wild dogs require vast spaces, bringing them into conflict with human settlement and agriculture. Disease transmission from domestic dogs, habitat fragmentation, and persecution have reduced their range to a fraction of historical levels. Today, fewer than 7,000 remain in the wild, making them one of Africa's most endangered large carnivores. Understanding their cooperative society, hunting prowess, and ecological role reveals why their conservation matters. African wild dogs represent a evolutionary success story proof that cooperation can outperform competition, and that strength measured in unity can rival strength measured in size.